Senator Obama or the Democratic Party. This looks like a throw the bums out election, and the Republicans are the bums. The evidence? Only 38% of voters believe most members of Congress from both parties deserve to be reelected. They are a bunch of bums. But not all bums are the same. Only 36% believe most Republican members of Congress deserve to be reelected, while a substantially higher number, 50%, want to see most Democratic members reelected. Asked how they intend to vote for Congress this year, voters give the Democrats a 12-point lead nationwide. That's bigger than Obama's lead in our poll polls, which suggests a big Democratic tide that could sweep in Obama and bigger Democratic majorities in Congress, or more precisely, a tide sweeping Republicans out to sea. Democrats argue that big congressional majorities will help get things done. We're going to bring change. It's going to be mainstream change. It's going to be thoughtful change. But it's certainly going to avoid the gridlock that every single thing you want to do is filibuster. But do voters really want to give one party that much power? Slightly more voters would rather see the White House and Congress controlled by different parties than by the same party. Republicans are beginning to warn about giving the Democrats a blank check, as in this Republican ad in North Carolina warning voters about voting for the Democratic Senate candidate. No checks and balances, no debate, no independence. That's the truth behind Kay Hagan. If she wins, they get a blank check. The Republican Senate Committee has sent out an email signed by Senator Orrin Hatch and it says, quote, if we don't act now to defend our Senate firewall, conservatives will be powerless to stop Barack Obama's rule by fiat. The assumption seems to be that Senator Obama is going to win the election. Wolf? A lot of people are beginning to assume that, but it isn't over yet. All right, Bill, thank you. Franklin uh, Roosevelt had the longest coattails, by the way, of any president. When he was elected in 1932, the Democrats won control of Congress by gaining a whopping, get this, 109 seats, 97 of them in the House, 12 in the Senate. Wow. And coming in second, uh, Harry Truman, when he won the 1948 presidential election, the Democrats picked up a total of 84 seats in Congress, 75 in the House, and 9 in the Senate. Rounding out the top three, Warren Harding. His presidential victory in 1920 helped Republicans seize control of Congress by picking up 74 seats, 63 in the House, and 11 seats in the Senate. In these late days of this campaign, John McCain still is trying to solidify his base. But here's a problem for him. Some evangelicals are just sitting this election out. Stand by for details. And a passed over vice presidential contender says John McCain probably would have been better off if he'd been chosen, better off in his state. We'll tell you what Tom Ridge is saying about Pennsylvania. That's coming up in our strategy session. And live from New York, the presidential race is rarely more fun than Saturday night. But even CNN's magic wall is getting the SNL treatment. We'll show you right here in the situation.